we have a, a similar trajectory in that, like, you know, I was in the military, I served in the Marines for a stint of time, you know, I uh, played in hardcore punk rock bands, uh, you know, I, I'd served as a brahmachari for two years. And, you know, I, I'm curious to hear about, you know, your, your temple living, you know, because I know you were talking about an evolution, you you went out yeah. on the pick, which by the way, uh, Shaori uh, wrote my initiation recommendation when I was in oh, uh, oh yeah, Shari, Shari trained me up in Hawaii, man. Yeah, he's he's. Well, you know that's another like, that's another scam that's going on. The whole movement with these fake gurus and shit. Now everybody's propping up Radhanath. Yo, Radhanath paid for the killing of a devotee. Radhanath yeah. was involved in the whole New Vrindavan shit that was going on with with Kirtan Ananda. And when you would go up at the house on the hill, they'd have little kids running around naked in the house. Listen, a lot of crazy shit went on in New Vrindavan and Radhanath was part of it. Now they're propping him up like he's the big guru of the movement. He never glorifies. If you see him, I've seen him on the in, uh, get on the news. Never talked about Prabhupada, never glorified Srila Prabhupada. So... You know, and now he has all his little followers that sit Yo there, with Ray Capo and the rest of them. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Can, can I tell you a funny story? Sure. So uh, when I was down in Long Beach, uh, I was staying at the temple down there. It's funny that you brought off Raghunath because um, I was staying at the temple down there. And I guess Purcell thought I was like moving in on his girl. And I was just like dude like what the fuck no like here in like i was raised in the south and in the south people call each other's like they call women sweetheart shit like that it's, it's like a term yeah. of endearment and he thought i was like making moves i'm like no dude like i was just trying to be nice and stuff and then i saw him at a judge show and i was like i'd already apologized to him preemptively and i was like he came up to me smiling i was like yeah man i just want to be a man like apologize to you in person i i don't i don't want things to go sideways you know yeah. and, and he was like oh yeah i forgot about that fuck you like that i was like what the what the fuck yeah. man like i'm trying to be like a good person here you know that man, those guys man whatever dude that band shelter was always corny to me getting on stage wearing fucking dope and now they're prop they're, they're promoting the whole bogus fucking gurus they're promoting they're promoting people that fucking were facilitated molesting fucking children yeah their, yeah. their guru before that was donadar that's it Donadar, my friend got raped by Donadar's friend in the Gurukul, and Donadar beat the shit out of the kids in the Gurukul to keep them quiet. So these, these are all scoundrels, and it's either scoundrels are going to be found in politics or exploiting people through religion, yeah. and that's, that's, what, that's what this is. And Prabhupada's the guru. He never appointed any of them to be guru, and just see all the shit that they've done since Prabhupada left the planet. So that's just proof right there. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you another story. Like I did service, extended service for one of the uh, original 11, right? And- um, Which one? You could say his name, who would fucking, I say uh, name, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Srila Acharya Dave. Ah. <laughs> anyway. Srila Acharya, Srila Rameshwar, who fucking molested a fucking 12-year-old, a 14-year-old girl and stole $2 million. Srila Rameshwar. Jesus Christ. Get That's the awful. fuck out of so here. He, he, all right. So he, I remember this was like kind of a, you know, I, cause I, I didn't go back to ISKCON. I was thinking about it, but when they started pushing the vax, I was like, fuck no, I am the not vax. going back. Yeah, that's another thing. All the sannyasis were pushing the vax and I'm like, no, I said, no, I'm not gonna. Sorry, well, you know that 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 must have just been in the last couple of years because that's when they started pushing that. But one of the guys who one of the guys are down with the with the World Economic Forum who designed who wrote out the whole thing uh, to push the vaccine in the temples. Which one? This is all I forget what his name is. Somebody just told me his name, and he's like uh, he's he's Indian body, but he's he was down with the WEC, the World Economic. Uh, the WEF, I'm sorry, World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, and all these, all these scumbags. Uh, you know, listen, they infiltrated the movement. Prabhupada's movement was the fastest growing religion on the planet in the 60s and 70s, man. 
And then it became the butt of jokes. Why? Why was that? Because of all the shit that they've done. All the shit that they've done. They're full of shit. And I'll say it straight the fuck up. They beat up and murdered people that spoke out against them. They raped women and sent them for fucking abortions. They, I mean, they violated every single aspect of that of that philosophy. They they were never appointed by Prabhupada to take gurus and name themselves Srila Acharya Dev and this and that. <laughs> he, you know, so, I I was doing service. I, I was a you know as a brahmachari. I had a car. It wasn't in my possession at the time, but it was back home and. Uh, you know, I would, I drove him up to the temple, up to New Galoka one time. And, you know, I was driving, I was asleep or not, I was not asleep. I was sleeping. I was like, if I don't get some fucking sleep, I am going to pass out at the wheel. And so while he was giving a Bhagavatam lesson, I slept in the car. And so, you know, I didn't have a chance to get gas. And I remember we were getting on the interstate and he was like, he was like, what, what are you doing stopping up at this gas station? I was like, I, I need to go get some gas. And he was like, why didn't you do that before instead of wasting my time? I was like, motherfucker, are you serious? Like, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, you're in my car, They're man. They're all like, like that. I got no love for none of them. And they're, they're supposed to be in the, in, in the renounced order of life. And they all have bank accounts with millions of dollars. Yeah. And 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 Radhanath stole the the Bhakti Center. He stole that from the devotees that built that place. It, it's just one scam after another. Yeah. They're scam artists. Yeah. Do you, do you ever go why, to the temple? I go to the temple here. Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, I go to see the, you know, I go to see the deities in New York when I was there or whatever. But like, you know. You like, try to stay aloof from the about, bullshit. Oh, dude, they basically <laughs> were like, it's, you know, they're very similar to the government of like anyone who talks against us is a demon. Right. You know, anybody who talks against us is a QAnon conspiracy. And, and you're not allowed to ask questions. And, you know, of course, that's called a cult. That's what they turn Prabhupada's movement into so, a cult. Here was my first Gita. It's a, it's a Krishna books Gita, and it was given to me at the Hindu center in Charlotte. And I brought that up to the the temple, and I remember everybody was like, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? I was like, well, somebody gave it to me, you know? And, like, yeah. it's it's a shame how, you know, for they so long. They changed the books, too. They yeah. changed all the books. They did everything Prabhupada told them not to do, they yeah. did. Yep. And Prabhupada said demons have come in the garb of devotees to destroy the movement from within. Yep. Who was he talking about? Tamal Krishna, all of these guys that have done all this crazy shit. Yeah. You know, and, and, and look at the other guy, Bhakta Tirtha, the black body uh, guru who got fucking, who was doing all kinds of shit and fucking women and all kinds of shit. And then when women spoke out against it, he sent one to the to this temple in like this very dangerous part of the world and she and had her murdered. These are fucking scoundrels, man. Yeah. I can't even begin to tell you the shit that I seen go down in the Brooklyn Temple. And that's when I started being like, and that's why when I did the spin article back in the 90s, and I was like, they did the big article, and I was like, yo, they're acting like like everything in this movement is all fucking honky dory. They're doing crazy shit. Yeah. They're like, and, and then look, look at look at uh, Bob and Anders over there running Mayapur now. It's bad enough he already stole all this money, and then left the movement. And he opened up a gay porno theater in 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 fucking Sydney with the money that he stole. Now they put because he has dirt on all these people. See, that's the thing. They get away with doing all this shit because they all have dirt on each other. Oh yeah, Mama Pod, all of them. All of these bogus fucking gurus have dirt on each other. Yeah. So no one will fucking rat because they're just as guilty by association. Like the fucking, you know, like the, like song the skulls. Goes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the thing was, now they put him in charge of the Mayapur project. And now all these millions of dollars are missing from Mayapur. Oh. So it, it, it's just... And it's disgusting because they've they raped fucking children in India. Yeah. They've done disgusting shit. Yeah. And they need to be called out on it. 
And, and that's the problem is that they won't allow any uh, investigation or criticism into it. That's what's really fucked up. Absolutely about not. Absolutely not. My, I, like I said, I had friends that were molested in the, in the Krishna schools and, you know, they fucking shun them away. Like people have committed suicide from what the shit that these, these people have done. Yeah. It's just fucking insane, man. And man, the world is like, better get a fucking wake up call soon, man. Yeah. Because uh, the way everything's going and, 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 and listen, I've been an advocate of like finding out what the truth is for most of my adult life. Yeah, I'm like, and when I find out, when I found out all the shit that was going on in the Brooklyn temple and all the shit that was going on with these bogus gurus, I spoke out against them. Right. Yeah. That's what Edmund Burke says. All it takes for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. Well, and I spoke out against Sri Dayananda and again, you know, they're, why are you speaking out against senior devotees? And I'm like, this is some main shit that I'm like, I can't well, even get into details about it, but well, I was like, here's the crazy shit. Just like, just like Vic from 108. When he, uh, what, what, no, what band was, was he in 108, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. And inside Vic, out. And, before and, that. Yeah. and, and, and uh, 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 Guna Grahi caught him fucking jerking off to a porno in the motorhome and called him and called him fucking motorhome swami or whatever nickname he had. These guys are fucking <laughs> scoundrels, man. They're frauds. Yeah. And then they say, oh, you shouldn't commit Vaishnav Aparad, like a, a, an offense against it. And I and my rebuttal is, well, if they're not acting like a devotee, then all bets are off. It's right. not a, it's not an offense to call. Prabhupada said, if a thief enters the room, it's your duty to speak up so that everyone knows that that person's a thief and you guard your valuables. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, there, there's got to be some sort of accountability. Otherwise, I mean, whatever movement's left is just going to be completely it's devastated already, anyway. It's not even the same movement. They're turning it into a new age fucking politically correct bullshit fucking movement. Right. That's And that's what I, I was kind of... I had fucking with, saying yeah, that, yeah. you know, listen, the philosophy of Krishna consciousness is... You don't fucking murder children in the womb and you don't fucking kill animals and you don't and you don't support. Prabhupada said there'll never be peace on this planet as long as they murder children in the womb and kill animals. Right. So that's coming from a pure devotee. If Prabhupada came to the planet today, they would try to cancel him. They would have oh. protests outside of the temples. To well, try to cancel Prabhupada. They they have been saying some kind of heinous shit about him. I'm like, what? like. Well, let them say that shit in front of me because I'll knock their fucking teeth down their fucking throat. <laughs> Any one of them. Love it. That's a fucking call out. You yeah. mouth off and you make an offense about Prabhupada in front of me. You're gonna be getting some fucking free dental work. Real talk. <laughs> and, and because yeah, and, and I had you know, and, and then they're like, well. You know, I support a women's right. That's not what Prabhupada said. You don't, you don't, you don't, you know, if you do an act and, and uh, you know, and, it, and and you get pregnant, you don't fucking kill a fucking child. Right. That's according to the Vedas. I don't care what they do out here. I'm saying what Prabhupada said. That's the highest principle in the material world. Yeah. It's your body, your choice, but it's also your, your choice to get the karma. Sure. Because don't think... You're going to fucking do what they're doing to children in the womb and you're not getting any karmic reaction for that. So I listen, I don't tell anybody what to do. You do what you need to fucking do. But to uh, when it comes time to talk the philosophy of Krishna consciousness and what Prabhupada said, that's that's the law. That's yeah. the law of the universe. And that's above any fucking Roe versus way or any of this bullshit that's going on right now. You know, I'd rather really talk about something a little more tangible, which is sure. blood clot music that's coming out and how, you know, we're going to be uh, getting out there soon and playing some shows. We got Tom Capone playing guitar. Uh, so, uh, yeah, man, looking forward to that, you know. You guys going to be doing any touring? Uh, you know, that all depends. Who knows what the fuck's going to be going on? You know, this government, whatever the fuck, they're already talking about the next wave of whatever the fuck. So 
you know, 